Hi guys, and welcome to the Rainbow Six Replays YouTube channel. Today, we want to present the video highlights of the match between Ninjas in Pajamas and Furia Esports during the Brazil League 2024 Stage 2. Don't forget to subscribe and put a like. Enjoy. For their opponents, of course. Starting on attack on Skyscraper, never fun. And so far, the roam clear's not gone so well. That won't go much better either. Hates the opening death, the KZ. They're trying to blind their way into the site. They've got pressure all around the map, but they've taken so much damage. Just falling like flies, Parker. Only Psycho and Cons remain, and Psycho just on 2 HP. So quickly, this game has devolved into chaos with Furia finding all of the kills. This is very, very uh, rough situation for NIP to be in. They've got to find some way out of it, but the swings just don't stop from Furia. No, I mean, when Furia's on their game, they are pretty much unstoppable. Felipox holding court. So the wall will fully open with the exothermic charge. A lot of pressure already. Flashbangs coming in, lion charge as well. Looks like they're starting to make their way into this bomb site. Parker Hates has jumped in the window. Cycle falls outside though. Fantasy picks up on the JV92 and a second coming through from the newest player of NIP, gaining the man advantage and he does not stop. There's Felipox with two of his own. It's all on Nade outside the bomb site, way back in drum, clutching a 1v2, but there's a whole minute 40 on that clock. Yeah, and there's still one EE1D as well. Both players on Nip, very high in HP, which makes the job even tougher for Nade. He has no idea where these players are, and the wall next to this plant going down is reinforced, so there's no potential to shoot through it. Nade on the Warden anyway, did not have an explosive. I don't know if he's put down that deployable shield, but obviously it's a little bit too late. Cross is being held! Cons is in the first down below to try to hold on with the c4 from below site as well could be very impactful later and there's hers in the run out he's got one but he's in a really rough spot they try to follow up as he hugs the wall tightly like a family member who hasn't seen you for many many years pino is waiting for the jump in it's happened and an easy collect but all the while the timer is working against nip they've equalized so while the jump out and run out from herds went effectively you've lost the two most powerful weapons from furia of herds and kz this presents an opening for ninjas in pajamas to pull things off there's one on the stairs and that is a bit of a sloppy play by pino what was he expecting up against a shotgun last vault didn't happens and the final three kills are all furious to be had they regain the lead the only hard breach as you see there's no secondary canister or can openers as they are referred to as on the board now the follow-up from the blitz it's fantasy to claim the kill he was the target number one early in this round hates being slowed down obscured he's got the goo mine also stuck in his foot nib at full control of the back portion of this map a nice angle by fantasy he seemingly powers up the longer he stays alive and now you have to engage the blitz jb92 anchored down in this position he'll lose some of the wall in front of him a psycho with yet to have a single kill will swing on in. That trend will continue as he dies to the nitro cell. And again, it's the site. If they can continue to just play these sides, starve Nip of this utility, kill their ability to gain information. How does fantasy hit these shots, by the way? That is an absurd first engagement and a second follows up as well. Just as good as the first make something happen to try to be unpredictable on furia it's probably going to be fully box but he's currently watching the wrong side of this window both seem to be somewhat aware oh no and now they've seen the head at the same time kz falls there's the shots into fully a little messy but they get it done eventually leaving just herds in a 1v5 having no <laughs> trouble staying alive in this round parker but he still might have some troubles winning it yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be brutal. I mean, he maybe gets one pick or two. How about zero? Actually, flawlessly done by Nip. You imagine he's aware of that? Maybe not though. I mean, he's just hitting Sight Parker all the way up the house stairs, and in the midst of it, they have no idea where he is. Fantasy gets one, looking for another as Nip gets ever closer. But the retake from Furia comes in, and there's the supporting cast yet again, led by Felipox and Nade. These anchor players from Furia not anchoring the site at this particular moment, but. Getting ever closer. They have been the big story for this Furia team. Felipox finishes things off again. Seconds left in the very first attacking round for Furia. Yeah, and they've given a lot of space to Furia for free, and they will finally step up and take a gunfight as Cons with less than a minute to go to get the opening pick onto Herds. That will stunt this push, but it's got to come out sooner rather than later. 
30 seconds, players are on the windows. We're trying to jump into Geisha, and they do get the down onto Cons to make it a 4v4 push. A nice flick now over to Hates, who will not be able to muster up a kill in this round. They're looking to lock out the bomb site. Nate has been down. JV92 is dead now as well. This has suddenly become a 2v2 with only 10 seconds left. KZ dies, and there it is. The defenders on Nip Dewey. Style of defense coming out from the two teams, but they eventually went for their aggressive swings. They waited for their moment. They used a toxic vape to smoke off that angle before Cons went and got that opening pick. And then, of course, it was Pino and Psycho, the last two players to lock it down. Two players who haven't been having the greatest of games. And using the safety of that black mirror amidst the smoke, you just mag dump at this point. Felipox eliminates cons, and now the fallback from Psycho on this position, who started to put together a few kills. He and Hates, if they pick up their pace, Furia will be in serious trouble and distress. At the moment, Furia not really sweating it, though, as they've got the first two picks. Fantasy, with his eight kills, will almost certainly have to break double digits if this round will go in Nip's favor, and it'll be a tie game should that happen, which is a bit of a worrying sign for Furia with, again, just the numbers that we tend to see on this map. Nip winning the two defending rounds to start off this half is about what we expect. It's also excellent for their mental and excellent for the momentum. The question becomes, what is the tertiary bomb site they go to, and can they hold that together and do something that Fury was never able to do, which is win the full rotation. The problem for Nip is winning, and right now they're not winning much of anything. Hates with one pick, he got the down on the other, but Furia was just historically one of the most winningest teams in the entire region, and is one of the orgs that frankly jumps to mind. When you look at Brazil, you've got to be better than that. Cons and Psycho will lead the way. Fantasy, Cons and Pino then all dropped, and another kill could be had. As it's all up to Psycho and Hates, and Hates' his bad day continues to go. Furia, one kill away, Jesse. One kill away from match point and KZ. And moves Nip down into sixth, which means Nip would face whichever team finishes third. That is not a very good spot to find yourself in because you have to imagine that the opponents up there are a lot stronger. Cons and Pino starting things off. Psycho on the board is... <laughs> what the hell just happened? That round is over. Prevail. And will it be in regulation? Two minutes for us to find out. If not, then there's another round, and that would be the final round of regulation. Fantasy with the run out, he gets taken down by JV92 after Herds dies early. And just as we focused on Hates' poor play, let's talk about Herds being three and nine for a second here. Yeah, surprising. His teammates continue to fall as well. That's two jump outs in a row from NIP. One from Fantasy, and then one site. Not a lot of movement from Nip as they await this push, and that's exactly what you need to do in this position. Just play steady, play safe, and play these sheltered moments. A swing from Hates as he ego checks the wall. Felipox will punish him, and now it's Psycho to die next. Jesse, it feels like it's about to happen, and it does! As delicious as them, especially the way that they were able to shut down NIP today. I mean, it was a formidable effort from NIP. But the rest of Fury, I mean, everyone was firing on all cylinders. Everyone showed up. And the way that they were playing off of each other was nice. It, it's reminiscent of that team that has been able to consistently be at that top. The way that they were constantly getting the opening kills besides Herds. I mean, he definitely struggled today. But everybody else on the team was definitely pulling his weight. And obviously, it's a team that's so good that even if one player struggles, everybody else on the team can pop.